My faith is in the one who sees all things, knows all things, the one who has all power. How then can I be afraid? Hello everyone, peace and love to you all. Welcome back to Faith and Fitness. Today we are going to be talking a bit more about faith, strength in our faith. Because a lot of us, are, I don't know, maybe, I don't know where, what country you're living in, I don't know what your situation is, but I know that there's a lot of fear around COVID-19, coronavirus. I don't know how severe it might be in your area. A lot of people are shaken up by it. The spirit led me to speak today about faith because I think even if you don't believe in God, at this time, we all need some kind of faith, right? <laughs> we all need to hold on to something because it's 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 times when people are panicking, people are bulk buying, I don't know, people are going mad, it's crazy. The shops are being cleared out with tissues. I don't know what's happening, but a lot's going on. So people are panicking and I think now is really a good time for us to have some sort of faith and hold on to some sort of faith. The faith that I hold on to is faith in God. Um, and today I just want to explain a bit why and maybe help you hold on to faith that you might need at this point in time. But before we get into it, let's just say a prayer. Father Lord, we thank you that you have given us this opportunity to come before you, Lord, to come before you in faith, to trust in your word, to trust in what you have placed in our hearts and not to be afraid of the things happening around, but, around us, but to have faith in your word to have faith that you will maintain us and that you will keep us and that you will strengthen us even when the world is falling apart so i thank you and i just commit everything that is said today into your faithful hands in jesus name i pray amen okay so faith 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 i don't know if you watched my last video but um I did a video about my salvation story and I spoke a bit about the way faith has shaped my journey and where it's led me to right now. And I use something called a faith triangle. If you haven't watched that video, um, I mean, I'd say just go check it out. Maybe it might give you a bit more of a background and idea of what I'll be talking about today. Um, so I called, um, I had this, well, the Lord gave me this diagram. He just said a triangle, like, um, and I'll show it to you. I've got it here got it here so just i didn't have a triangle so i just had to use this and this i call it my faith triangle right so we have god at the top and uh, we have the world right here and then we have faith right here and this i kind of explained how it's shaped my whole salvation journey and my faith first in my parents and then in myself and then maybe things of the world and then finally where i'm not and where i'm at now praise to god my faith in god which is the only faith that I hold on to now. Um, but see, the thing the Lord has shown me, the reason why so many of us are afraid, we're scared, we're panicking is because our faith has stayed in the world, right? Our faith has been in the world. It's been in our security. It's been in our health. It's been in our houses. It's been in our cars. It's been in our food. It's been in our toilet tissue. For some people, they've had faith in their toilet tissues. I don't know because they seem to be buying it crazy amounts but anyway for many of us because we have put our faith in the world and now the world seems to be falling apart our faith is shaking our faith is now not balanced we are scared we are frightened that's normal when our faith is in a place that is being shaken because the world is being tested right now the world has been trialed we are going through tests right now, right? This is testing the world. This is testing people's faith. Whether you believe in God or not, it's testing your faith. Because so many people are going and book buying because they, they have no faith in the future. They don't know what's going to happen. They have no faith in the world that's going to maintain them. So they have to take matters into their own hands, right? No faith in the government. No faith in what the people are saying about this disease. It's like the faith in the world is shaking. So... I think this is just a sign for us to realize where our faith is. If you are in a place where this coronavirus has really got you shaken up, then I think that's just a sign for us to reassess where our faith is. Like, because if your faith is in God, your faith is in the things that are unseen, your faith is in the invisible things, if your faith is in the one who created all that we see, if your faith is in the one that is the 
alpha and the omega it will not shake and i say that with a boldness because that's what that's what the word of god says if our faith is in god it will not move so if your faith is wavering a little bit back and forth then we need to assess where our faith really is do we still have faith here because sometimes we can keep a little bit of faith here and a little bit of faith there and we can keep the faith between the two but that's god wants us to have faith in him and him alone because this world does not know god the world doesn't know god the world doesn't acknowledge god the world doesn't speak of god as the creator god created this world but this world has no idea that god is real so if we still have our faith here that will waver us that will keep us going backwards and forwards and this coronavirus we keep us in the place of worry of stress of feeling so anxious you know but i'm just grateful to god that he has helped me put my faith in him because it's only by the grace of god please let me never take any credit for the fact that my faith is only in god because only by god's grace that he has given me the strength to have faith in him and him only so i think this should be our prayer today let us pray that god gives us faith in him and him alone let us move away from the world let us move away from anything that we have attached ourselves to in this world so that when it comes crumbling down we will have no fear we will rejoice we will be glad because our faith is in the almighty so this is just a reminder this is just what the holy spirit put in my heart today if you feel the same or if you feel like your faith is being tested please i'd like you to let me know let's let's be interactive in the comment sections let's share where we are in our faith because i think this purpose the purpose of the world being shaken is especially for us christians to analyze the level of faith we have in our god because god wants us to be strengthened he wants our perseverance to be to go from level to level right and the only way to do that is for us to be tested so we need to see this as a way of god telling us how strong is your faith and if you feel it wavering don't ignore it don't just say yeah yeah let us know how our faith can be strengthened in god and god alone let us find out how we can work on our faith so much so that it becomes unwavering it becomes stable not shaking back and forth regardless of what's happening around us in this world regardless of what you know is going on in this world oh no 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 that will not move us that will not shake us because we will have grounded faith that is in god alone and i think this is really the purpose of this trial and this testing time i don't think it's gonna last for as long as people think i think really it's for us to really analyze especially us christians to analyze our faith in god and um if you are someone where you're not quite you don't feel like you identify as christian but uh, your faith is being wavered because this is where you are your 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 belief is in what you see then maybe this is the time to start analyzing that faith that you have in this world because the, the world will fail us if you if you put faith in this world this world will fail us time and time again maybe it's time for you to analyze that faith that you have in the world and maybe think well this world is not stable just look at what's going on maybe it's time for me to shift my faith to somewhere that is more stable and unwavering so i can be in a place of stability and peace and comfort knowing that my faith is planted in the most high god that's just the message i want us to take today and let's just ponder on that let's just think about that think how this coronavirus has maybe shaken us if it's made us less willing to approach people if it's made us less willing to take to go where god is leading us if it's made us less willing to rejoice and be glad and to wake up every morning and say well i am happy if it's made us less joyful if it's made us less trusting in god you know let us analyze that let's see why why has this coronavirus taking me so much that i am not even afraid to even step out my house because in god we have no fear so if we are truly really and truly in god then we need to work on our faith in a way that keeps us stable and trusting in god if you're in a place where your faith is being tested 
and you just want to share how you're dealing with that, then I think someone else might really benefit from that. If you want to share how you're dealing and coping with your faith being shaken or how you're being able to how you're able to stay strong. For me personally, I've just been diving into God's word. That's what's that's what has kept me strong. That's what has kept my faith grounded. I've been just indulging myself in the word of God and the promises of God and that has kept my faith in a place that is unwavered thanks to God all by God's grace um, because his word is the one thing that he's given to us you know it's one of the things he's given to us to hold on to whilst we are unable to see him because he's here and even though we're unable to see him we know he's here and we feel his presence and his word gives us that assurance so that's the one way I've been able to stay strong in my faith is just by diving into God's word, you know, letting it be my daily bread and just keeping his word part of my daily routine. So that's really helped me. Um, but if there's anything else, any other tips that you find really helpful that you would like to share, please let us know in the comment section. There's people out there who are maybe have no faith in God and they're looking for where to find faith at this point in time because they don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So let us share our stories and our testimonies and let us share how we are coping. So then it might be helpful to, to our brethren, to the person next door who maybe doesn't know where to turn to or who to turn to for a bit of assurance and a bit of faith and a bit of encouragement. Let us share our stories of how we are overcoming this trial and this test and how we are overcoming this worry that is coronavirus because my God, my God is strong and is powerful and my faith is in the Almighty. My faith is in the one who sees all things, knows all things, the one who has all power. How then can I be afraid? How? I'm grateful to God that he's helped me know the truth because the truth is what sets us free. So let us emerge ourselves in that truth. Let us keep holding on to that truth. Let us never lose hope by God's grace. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, if this has been helpful to you, let me know in the comments. And um, I'm just, I'll just keep leaning onto the Holy Spirit and letting Him guide me as to what to come and speak next. And I'm just grateful that I have this platform and I have you guys to be able to speak about God um, and just to be able to carry on on this journey and see where God leads me. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope the favour of the Lord be upon your life and may the Lord keep you safe and strong and healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time. Bye.